Hey, have you ever opened your email and were overwhelmed by the amount of messages you see? Or better yet, have you tried finding that one important message but you can't find it anywhere? Hey everyone, I'm Chris, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use smart mailboxes in Apple Mail. We're gonna simplify that inbox. We're gonna discuss everything from creating, editing, and removing smart mailboxes from your Mac. So if you've sat down and you're ready to go, let's get started. Using smart mailboxes is an extremely helpful tool. And if you're new to it, it's great to figure out how to get it set up and get going. So let's get started first by how do you even create one? So smart mailboxes in Apple Mail already exist on your machine and you should have a few up there already in this section. Most importantly, you're gonna have today and you might even also have an unread. Um, that may or may not be there. I know I've created it and it's honestly been so long since I've created mine that I can't remember if it's there by default or not, but you'll at least have today for sure. So if you'd like to add another smart inbox, so let's think that maybe you receive emails from a particular client or a particular organization, and these are extremely important for you and you want to be able to find them quickly. Well, one of the things that you could do is essentially tell your computer that, hey, instead of me scrolling and searching through my inbox, I just wanna be able to click on the smart inbox and be able to identify all the emails from Chris at Simple Tech IT, right? So that's what we're gonna build first. So what we wanna do is we wanna come up to our menu bar and click on mailbox. When that drop down list appears, you can see we have a bunch of different options here, but we're gonna scroll down to a new smart mailbox. When you click on that smart mailbox, the first thing that you get to do is give it a name. So in this particular case, I am just gonna type in Simple Tech. We're gonna make it my own smart inbox. And you can see here, the next line says, contain messages that match all of the following conditions. The conditions are gonna be the rules that we set below. So from contains and where it's coming from. In this particular case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, the message is in mailbox and my Google, my Simple Tech IT is through Google, and that's all it's gonna be. I have three different email inboxes in here and I want it to be that one. Well, I also want it to be from me. So I'm gonna type in chris at simpletechit.com. I don't send myself many emails, so we'll see what this pulls up. And we're gonna go ahead and now we can see it has to match all of the following conditions. That means both of these conditions, it needs to basically check those boxes. So it has to be in the inbox and it also has to have that email address in the from field. So if I click okay, you can see over here in the top left-hand corner and now just created a new simple tech inbox. Now I haven't sent myself anything yet. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my simple tech one and I am going to send it to myself. Oh, can't spell John. I'm doing an amazing job. Yeah, that's funny. Alright, no subject and we are going to send. So now, when that comes in, because it was from me to me and it's in my inbox, you know, that should appear there. So there it is. So you can see how that smart inbox works, right? So that smart mailbox essentially is going to allow you to set the rules for what is filtering through all of your emails. So it helps you cut out the noise and it helps you stay focused on what you're trying to achieve in your inbox. So you can see another one that I have up here is unread. So this unread one here is just all of the emails that I still have in my three different email accounts that I have yet to address. So the unread one's a huge one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna right click on this inbox and we're gonna talk about editing the smart mailbox a little bit. So I'm gonna right click on it or in the Apple world it's called a secondary click and I'm gonna come down to edit smart mailbox. So when I click on that, you can see that I've named it unread it matches all the following conditions. So the message has to be unread. That's just a generic term in this list of options that we have here. And the message is not in my trash because I get a lot of junk. And a lot of times I don't even read it. And so I just send the message to the trash. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that with this particular rule, 
it was not going through my trash and showing me things from my trash can because I don't want to see it. That's why it's in the trash. So once I kind of set that up, it went through all three email accounts and it is going anything. It has to match both conditions and it's got to be unread and it can't be in the trash can. And then once I hit OK, that is the filter that we got. Now, you can also add more rules if you wanted to. So you could have as many rules in here as you like, but maybe instead of it being all, you switch it to any. So what any does versus all is that means it could be either unread or not in the, or not in the trash, which in this particular case probably really isn't gonna do much for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that one and let's include messages in the trash and let's also say that maybe, um, let's say that the message is flagged, right? So it can be either one of these conditions and it's gonna pull it into the unread. So all my flagged emails should appear here. Every single one that I have flagged, which to be quite honest, I have no idea how many that is. We might see a lot populate. So now you can see all of a sudden, because you see all these flags that are kind of coming down on the side here, and it's because it's one of the two rules, and I said any, not all. So if I go back to it, and I do all, it should actually remove all the flag messages because I haven't flagged anything that's unread. So if I do okay, boom, they're all gone. But now if I come, I'll come into my email here, I'll come into my inbox. I will find one that I haven't read yet. So let's do this one and I'm gonna flag it. So this particular unread mail, I now flagged it. Now, because it matches both conditions for that smart mailbox, I have one email that's in there and it has to match them both. So you definitely need to play around with it. And if you have more than one condition in this list, you definitely need to make sure that you choose, is it all conditions or any of the conditions? So if it's any, it only needs to match one out of all the lines. I could have 50 different rules in here, but it only needs to match one and it'll populate inside the smart mailbox. Whereas when it's all, if I had 50 rules in there, it would have to match all 50 in order for it to work right. All right, so one last thing. We created this Simple Tech smart mailbox and I actually want to rename it. And I just want to rename it from me, right? So there's a lot of different things that we can do when we right click. You can create a new one. Now a mailbox is different than a smart mailbox. So we're not talking about that today. We could add it to our favorites. So you have a favorites tab inside your mail program. And these are my favorites. You could add it into this list. So you could see my unread is in both locations. Because uh, typically I only use my favorites. I usually don't have my smart mailboxes open. I could export it. I could delete it. I could edit it some more. I could duplicate it. Um, I could erase deleted messages inside, so on and so forth. But in this particular case, I'm never going to use that one that's from me. So I'm simply just going to delete it and boom, it's gone. Now, one of the concerns people have when you do that is, well, what about the emails that were inside? It's just a filter. So one of the things you gotta remember is Smart Mailboxes is only filtering through your email to show you what you've asked it to show you based upon the rules you've created in that Smart Mailbox. I know that was really confusing. So a Smart Mailbox is only a filter. It's only filtering through your emails to show you what you've asked it to based upon the rules you've created. So if I go back to my inbox for my Google account, that one I sent to myself is still there and still up at the top. So there is a complete guide on smart mailboxes. You can really get in the weeds with this, but this is an amazing tool. If you're a business owner, you get a lot of emails and you just need to just reduce the noise. Um, you can see all my unread messages that were in my unread smart mailbox aren't even on my list that I see now that I see visually in front of me and that's by design. So if I come to unread here, boom, there they are. Here is now my 
smart mailbox for unread all the messages that I haven't checked out yet from all three accounts, excluding my trash. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me some comments. Tell me how I'm doing. Hate me, love me, whatever you'd like. Um, but I just appreciate you taking the time and hopefully these are helping you get more out of your Mac and taking the stress out of IT. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for watching.